Hi everyone, it's Mitch from Trip School back with another trip tip for tour guides. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a live availability calendar using only Google Sheets. Before we dive in, let's talk about why you would want to do this. If you are a tour guide or a multi-day tour director or tour manager, one of the questions you often get asked by either a prospective client or a tour operator that you're working with is, what is your availability? And traditionally, sending your availability to that operator might happen once or twice in a year, but actually your availability is always changing and they come back with a tour offer and you are already booked. So it's really helpful to have a live version that updates as you change your calendar on your end. Now, there are a variety of ways of doing this. There are a lot of online paid versions of this where you pay a monthly subscription and you can send a calendar. You could theoretically share your own Google calendar. However, that requires the operator or the client to log into their Google accounts and it's kind of clumsy. It's not exactly elegant. What I want to show you is using Google Sheets. That's the spreadsheet functionality of Google Drive and it's totally free. I'm going to show you how you can create what looks like a calendar but it allows you to update it, change it all on your end and you can publish it live to the internet as a web page that allows your client or your operator to click once and see exactly what dates you have available coming up. So let's dive in. All right, so before we begin making this calendar, I just want to show you the finished product. Look here, this is a website. You can share a link to this in, this, in the signature of your email uh, when you're corresponding with tour operators or with clients. You can send this to somebody whenever. And what it is is just a series of calendars that shows green for when you're free, red for when you are all booked up. Now, you, there are no rules. You can get fancier and change colors and do whatever, but this is just a very simple way so that very quickly an operator can see, oh, they are free during these days or not. The beauty of this is that these red and green squares are actually controlled by you uh, on Google Sheets, meaning that when you change a color, when that operator or that client then checks your availability here, it will update live automatically. So they will always be seeing your accurate live availability. Um, and they cannot edit it. All they're seeing is this web page, but you can go and edit yours um, all you want. So it's pretty great. In order to make it, the good news is I have made a template for you that helps you with just that original structure. And in order to get it, all you need to do is go to tripschool.com, go to downloads, and click right here on tour guide availability calendar template. Click there, enter your name and your email, and you will receive in your inbox a link to that template. So let's go to an inbox and see what that looks like. All right, so here we are in the inbox and you're gonna see, you'll get an email from Mitch, the tripschool.com, your availability calendar template, and here is the link to your live tour guide availability calendar. Click the link and it's gonna open up a new web browser with Google Sheets. Okay, and here we are in Google Sheets. Now listen, you need to be signed in to your Google account. You have to have a Google account in order to see this and in order to edit this. Now very importantly, this is a template, which means you can only view it. What you do not want to do is click on this and request edit access. That will be you asking me to edit the original document. Instead, you need to go up to file and make a copy. What this will do is copy this entire calendar and put it into an editable format in which then you can make all of the changes that you want. So go ahead and go to file and make a copy. All right, and so now here we are in our actual editable template for the calendar. This is your file, this is your personal calendar, and you can do whatever you want to it. You can change the colors and you definitely want to change the information up at the top. First things first, this little bar right here where I uh, tell you to go up to file and make a copy, just highlight it, 
uh, over on the side here, highlight this little um, column or row marker, right click on it, and then go down to delete row and delete it. So that's the first thing because you don't need that showing up. Second thing is obviously change your name to Tina Turner tour guide or whatever it is you want. And same thing here, Tim at Timmy.com. You can edit it, write it up, right up on this bar here. Uh, you can go Tina at Turner.com and that changes into a link that will link out to your email address. Finally, over here, the image, if you, if you uh, go to that image, you can actually click insert image right here. What you wanna do is insert an image over the cells. And here you will go in, you will upload it by clicking browse, find your file, and it will insert an image right here. So you can delete this placeholder and insert your own image there, or you can click the three dots here and click on replace image. That will put a new image into this frame. Um, I frankly just recommend um, clicking those three dots and clicking delete image and going up and insert image, image over cells, because then it will insert an image that is the right size for your photo. This one is just a rectangular one. Yours might be a little bit more portrait style. Anyway, all of that can be changed. This can be moved around whatever you want to do. So that's that. Now, down here, you're gonna see a calendar that is entirely green. That means you're all free. And I've got all of the months here laid out for 2022. Whatever year this is that you're watching this, you'll be able to go to our website and download the, the current year. And I made this very simple. Green means you're free that day. Red means you are booked. Now, you could have all sorts of different colors here. You could make a blue one that means you're free in the morning and yellow that means you're free in the afternoon. Whatever it is, you can make any sort of color legend because this is just a spreadsheet. There's nothing fancy about what this is. This is just a, a calendar with little cells in here. Now, here's where it gets easy. It gets both interesting and easy. What you want to do in order to turn on and off your availability is simply drag and highlight the area that you are not free. And you're gonna go up to this paint can up here where it says fill color, click on it, and then click the red color. You're gonna go through, you're gonna highlight, click red, wherever it is that you're not free, you just highlight and you turn your availability on and off that way. If you decide that you are actually free, you're gonna click right there and turn it back green. You'll do that for your whole calendar. This is your single source of availability then, and whenever you share that link, what you're doing is sharing a link back to this document. But here's the important thing. You don't want to share the Google Sheet directly with anybody because you don't want your tour business that you're working with or your, uh, your, your, your client to have to like download or the, to sign into Google or do all of that. We want to turn this into an actual web page. What you're gonna do in order to publish this to the internet and make it totally viewable to anybody on the internet is go to file right up here. And then you're gonna go down to publish to the web. When you click that, what you're doing is deciding to make it into a website. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose a link because you're gonna generate a link to this whole website. And then you're gonna click the entire document, which is what you want. And you're gonna click right here. You're gonna have a button that says publish. I have a button that says published because I've already done it. And what it generates is this big long link right here. If you press command C or control, control C, you can see here it prompts you to copy it. When you copy that link now, Whenever you share that link, that link is going to open up the web page. So let's go to a new web browser that doesn't know I exist and am logged into Google to see what that looks like. Okay, so here we are in just a web browser, Google. You can see I'm not signed in, which means I'm just anybody opening this up on the web. 
Now, look at this. This is a very long web address, and we're going to get to that in just a minute. But you can see when I just paste that in, press return, what comes up is Tina Turner Tour Guide. There's Tina at Turner.com and my availability. Now, you can see here in April, I am very free. Let's go back to the website that I control on Google Sheets. Or let's go back to the sheet that I control in just a minute. So here we are back in Google Sheets. And I am going to go to April and I'm going to turn this red. So that's done. It has just saved it to the drive. Now let's go back to our live availability calendar uh, that's been shared as a website. All right, so we're back on the live website here. You can see my April is not uh, updated yet. I'm gonna click on refresh. And all of a sudden, you can see here, the website has updated with my unavailable dates now in April. So this is always live. Here's the most important thing though. You need to wait to verify that it's working five minutes after you make the change because this website only updates automatically every five minutes by Google. That's so that Google systems aren't overtaxed or whatever. So after five minutes, this website becomes completely live, which means any client, any tour operator, anywhere around the world that is checking out whether or not you're free for something has that information right there at the tip of their hands, the tip of their fingers. Now, what's great is this link would be very cool to put into the bottom of your emails. That way, anytime you're interacting with a client or a tour operator, you can have a little link right there in the footer, in the signature that says, view my availability. That's great. However, that is a very, very long link name to have in the footer. So I'm gonna show you one little bonus tip, which is how to shorten that enormous link name down into something that's a little bit more manageable. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a website called tinyurl.com. So here we are on tinyurl.com. It turns a long web address into a short web address. So that public website address that you created, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in here, paste it, then down here, it's gonna say customize your link. tinyurl.com is the beginning. That's gonna be the website that you, that you point people to. You need to create an alias. So that alias is basically a short little something that is easier for the tour operator to type in. How about Timmy availability? All right, we're gonna try that and we're gonna click make tiny URL. So now, what just happened was through the magic of this website, this long URL, which is very hard to write, has been turned into tinyurl.com slash Timmy availability. Now, when you copy this and paste it into a website, click it, that loads up that long Google Doc uh, link and gives anybody that wants your availability. So now you have a short, easy to remember website that you can put in your email or share anytime you need to that offers a live availability calendar um, that you can control on the back end. I hope this was helpful for you and make sure to like and subscribe our channel for more tour guide trip tips. Enjoy.